Hi everyone, so I'm going to be talking about how the media constructs views of gender with religion. So by this I'm meaning how religious men are viewed versus how religious women are viewed in the media. So first of all, let's think about it. When we think about religious men, maybe a man wearing a, a turban, what do we think about? We think of a t about terrorists. When we think about religious women, we see these women that are being thrown into arranged marriages. We see... Um, really women treated with no respect. We see men at the head of the household. We see women staying at home. So, like, where do we get these ideas of, of ideas of religion in America? So, um, during this discussion, I really want to focus on Muslims in America, their religion, and how they're portrayed by the media. So, first of all, um, according to Mahan, Religion and gender are two distinct and conceptually separable concepts, but become intertwined because of the media. So, um, for example, we see this in the news. We saw this after 9-11. Muslims were portrayed as these terrorists, as these non-Americans. We see this in ABC's Lost, CSI, and Criminal Minds. Um, those are just a few examples. So. Um, but all this is meaning that gender and religion are mutually embedded with each other. So some prejudices are um, share cross-cultural patterns. So to start this um, topic off, I really want to go back to when go back to the origins of this, I guess. So um, religion dates back as far as one as far as it can be traced back to the 50th century and beyond. So as far as one can imagine. However. Um, gender wasn't adopted by the social sciences until the 1960s. So when today in the U.S. we are seeing non-traditional religions come to the United States because of migration, which this has helped enhance the diversification in U.S. societies. Um, so through this we are seeing these social groups cook up their own kinds of representations about gender and other things like religion. So first of all, Let's go ahead and talk about how men are portrayed, um, religious men are portrayed in the um, media. So first of all, we see a study done by Hoover and Coates that religion is actually a positive force for masculinity, and it's known as God-centered masculinity. However, the media plays out a negative effect of this. So the media is playing out that this God-centered masculinity is negative. Um, so to really reconsider this, let's... Um, uh, let's take another study that I found by Al Stani. So this is talking about how Muslims were portrayed after 9-11. So basically they were portrayed at, in the news as non-Americans. They were portrayed as terrorists. They um, were also portrayed as rapists because of a prophet that had married a nine-year-old. So these so people are saying because they did it, these because back in the day someone did it, today um, they're also doing it. So it's a stereotype that's lived over years. So, and then another well-renowned stereotype that we are seeing in men and religion are violent, such as beating their wife. And we really see this in, um, one show that we really see this is, is ABC's Lost. They have a Muslim character on there, and he is seen using torture to extract information from prisoners from the guard, from the prison that he worked at. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to how women are seen in, um, in the media, religious women are seen in the media. So first of all, according to Fisk, um, Muslim women are seen as apparent adversaries and is viewed as low incompetence. So we see this in shows like CSI and Criminal Minds where the women are, where Muslim women are almost always re represented as victims of domestic violence. They're, every time they appear on these shows, um, every time they appear on police shows or even shows, they are often cut short by male, by males, male, um, male characters who assert that he's in charge. So I also found this other study by Hoplaflinger, Hoplif Levanchi, and Hidman. They really broke down and described how the song Blue Burka, um, this song accompanied a music video, and this was a woman band. They were all dressed in blue burkas. 
and playing these instruments. And it's interesting because um, they said, um, Hoffinger, Levinci, and Tahinen said that because of this, it's kind of breaking down that stereotype. It's kind of blurring the lines like, are women allowed to do this? Are they allowed to objectify themselves to this? Are they allowed to dance? So it's like, we don't really have this clear understanding of this religion, but we're seeing stereotypes of them. So um, this is really called, um, this portrayals of stereotypes through the media are known as simplified complex representations. So basically this is a strategy by television producers, writers, and directors to give the impression that the representations that they are producing are complex, but in a simplified way. And that's all I have for y'all.